Yes, yeah, so this particular species was first recorded from Spain, from Valencia back in 2012, um, but it was found in Algeciras in 2018, um, where it has become established. And then last year, we got records that it had been found in Los Barrios as well. So we knew that it was around the Campo area and we know that it's established, so there are nests around. So really it was only a matter of time that um, the species was spotted here. And the reason for that, probably um, they think in Algeciras it may have come in through the port. So it would have been an accidental introduction. But this species is native to Eastern Europe. So it's found in the Balkans, in Greece, um, and it ex extends down into Southern Italy. So it could possibly as well be spreading naturally. We've seen how the tiger mosquito has become established in Gibraltar in recent years. What's the likelihood of these hornets also becoming a regular fixture here? Yes, yeah, so um, it, let's see what happens because this species um, nests underground, so it's subterranean. So unlike the European hornet, which is native throughout Europe, that species nests in trees and it nests in buildings. This one hasn't been recorded as nesting in buildings, but potentially it could, but mainly it's underground. So whether we have the habitat for it remains to be seen, but because it has established itself just across the border, it's likely that it could as well establish here. So there's a number of different types of invasive hornet, as well as this one that's been found in Gibraltar and was already established in the Campo. There's also the Vespa Velutina, which has been found in the north of Spain and has actually killed someone there. And then, of course, there's the Asian giant hornet, which has made headlines for appearing in the US. So can you run us through the differences between these different types? Yes, yeah, so the one that's found here, yeah, this is not the invasive one that everybody is worried about. Um, so this is the oriental one. Um, the one that's killed people in Spain and in France is the Asian hornet, which is Vespa velutina. And then the one that's been recorded from America is the giant Asian hornet, which is, again, it's, that's a different species. And we haven't had any records of that one from Europe. So we don't have to worry about that one. What should people do if they find one of these species of hornets? And how should they behave around them? They are quite intimidating insects. Yeah, um, usually if you see one flying around, they're not going to harm you. Um, it's if you get into in close proximity to a nest, then they can become quite aggressive, especially if you start um, tampering with a nest. If you want to remove a nest or anything, then yeah, they, they, they will attack you. But generally, um, I wouldn't worry too much. Um, the Oriental Hornet, uh, the sting is not as potent as the Asian Hornet, so the invasive one that you get in Northern Spain. Um, it's a problem for people if they're allergic to stings, just like if anybody's allergic to a bee sting, um, and if you're stung multiple times as well and you're allergic, you could go into anaphylactic shock. But literally there's nothing to worry about.